Good afternoon and welcome to the 30th Egan High School Commencement Ceremony. I am Dr. Polly Rykowski, the principal of Egan High School, and it's my distinct pleasure and privilege to welcome our entire community on behalf of our faculty, staff, school board, and district to this virtual graduation ceremony. Thank you to Mr. Benson and the Egan High School Wind Ensemble, as well as the Minnesota Orchestra, for sharing the beautiful pre-ceremony music with our audience this afternoon. Our graduates and their families and friends, all of the school district officials, our teachers and staff are with us virtually today. They have one purpose, to honor the accomplishments of the members of the graduating class. Usually, we all gather at Egan High School as our graduates and faculty members, dressed in academic regalia, enter in a formal processional for this ceremony. Instead, I am alone on this stage and missing all of our seniors, families, faculty, and friends. Today in this time of staying safe and social distancing, we enjoyed a processional with graduates and their families and vehicles earlier this afternoon. Our faculty and staff were cheering them on and celebrating with them from a safe distance. Truly, this is a most unique and unusual graduation for the class of 2020. We hope that you, along with your families, are viewing this virtual ceremony together and celebrating. You have so very much to be proud of today. As members of the class of 2020, you have each traveled your own path to this moment. Distance learning, loss of many senior events, and sheltering at home have been recent parts of the journey. As our future leaders, you will be vital to the pandemic recovery for our country and our world. We know that your resilience and fortitude, as well as your courage, will support you in these endeavors. Recent events in our community demand that we also must face the change efforts needed to provide equity in our society and state. These changes are vital. As demonstrated by the turmoil this past week in reaction to the tragic killing of George Floyd, we can and must do better. Graduates, you give us hope and you embody the change that this society so desperately needs. Our involvement in your lives, whether as parents, guardians, mentors, siblings, friends, teachers, counselors, coaches, or principals help to shape you and your view of the world. We have treasured our privilege of being with you and supporting you in this journey. Now, we are ready to celebrate this moment. Your high school graduation is here. We are also ready to support you in those next steps into your future. It is our hope that you follow your dreams, give back to the world and those who you share it with, and most of all, live your lives with passion. Thank you, members of the class of 2020, for sharing these years with us. We honor you today and thank you for being positive leaders in our school and community. Our seniors have representatives who help create the ceremony each year, and despite this being a virtual ceremony, they have still determined many of the elements of this video. With that, thank you student government seniors for serving as leaders. I now ask the members of the graduating class to turn and offer your gratitude to your parents, guardians, and family members for all they have done to help you arrive at this milestone. I join you virtually in that thank you. In the printed program that you received, those graduates selected as recipients of Egan Foundation scholarships are shown on page three. We want to acknowledge that since 1991, the Egan Foundation has awarded over $1.8 million in scholarships to more than 1,900 seniors. This year, 97 members of this graduating class have received close to $121,000. Thank you for your continued support of the Egan Foundation in our community. Many other awards and scholarships have been awarded to the members of the class of 2020. 
scholarships and awards from our school and local community are listed in your program on page four. Many of these were shared in the senior awards ceremony, which was aired on May 19th. Congratulations to all of our seniors on their many accomplishments. At this time, Mr. Corey Johnson, member of the school board, has recorded a message of congratulations on behalf of our school board. Hello and good afternoon. On behalf of the Board of Education, District 196, and the Egan High School community, it is my sincere privilege to welcome you here today. To our graduates, congratulations. Your hard work and perseverance throughout your educational career has brought you here today. Even though we are unable to physically stand with you in person this year, know that we are standing with you in spirit right now at this very moment, honoring your accomplishments. Again, congratulations to the historic class of 2020 and best of wishes to each of you in your future endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for that message of congratulations. Ms. Brittany Che and Ms. Emma Veldheis are co-presidents of the senior class. They will now present the class gift to Egan High School. Brittany and Emma, the podium is yours. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Emma Veldheis. And I'm Brittany Che. Throughout the past year, we've had the honor representing Egan High School as the presidents of the class of 2020. Today, we'll be presenting the senior gift. The senior class gift is a way for the members of the graduating class to leave their mark at Egan High School and to give back to the community that's given us so much. As we were planning the gift, we wanted to make sure that it would equally represent each member of the class of 2020 and show the strength our community has gained through this global pandemic. Our senior class gift will be a wildcat shaped collage made up of the senior portraits of each member of the graduating class. The collage will be placed on the wall to the right of the welcome desk in the east entrance. We hope that the collage serves as a way for the community of Egan to not only remember the class of 2020, but the academic, athletic, and community events that they missed out on as well. We'd like to thank Dr. Rykowski, Dr. Hedlin, and Mr. Kovac for their support in the decision-making and planning of this gift. We would also like to thank our family members, peers, and teachers for their help through the past four years. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, we wish you luck in your future endeavors. We hope that the class of 2020 continues to support each other and forever embodies the strength of the Wildcat that we are leaving behind today. Thank you. Thank you, Brittany and Emma, and thank you for your leadership this year. As principal of Egan High School, it is my distinct pleasure to recognize the achievements of the class of 2020. The members of the Egan High School class have earned many honors. Presidential scholars, summa cum laude graduates as top 10% of the class have been awarded gold cords. Magna cum laude graduates, a top 20% of the graduating class were awarded silver cords. Honors graduates were awarded blue and green cords. Our National Merit Scholars and Advanced Placement Scholars were also indicated in the program along with many other award winners. Honors organizations, including the National Honor Society, National Forensic League, National Art Honor Society, and National Business Honor Society are all indicated in the program and were awarded cords as listed on page three of your program. AVID graduates and American Indian education graduates were awarded academic cords and stoles. Please review your program details for these many honored seniors and congratulations for this high achieving group. It is my pleasure to introduce our faculty speaker chosen by the graduates Mr. Jim Becker, who will present the faculty message for this ceremony. Mr. Becker is a social studies teacher, coach, and link coordinator at Egan High School. His message is entitled, Fear Not. The podium is yours, Mr. Becker. 
Thanks, Dr. Rykowski. Yeah, please stand there for a second. Um, on behalf of all the faculty, I'd like to truly thank administration um, for all they've done. They've been working tire tirelessly 24-7 to make sure it gets just right for the seniors, along with our technical crew, um, Saxton, Kasdorf, Pelliquin, Retzloff. Unbelievable the work that they put in, so thank you guys so much. And I've also brought in my PAWS seniors so that I have somebody to talk to. So I've got Grebin, Tromley, Berge, and Cheetah here today. So thank you guys so much for being here. So the end of another typical ho-hum senior year, huh? Yeah. Let me tell you the evolution of a commencement speech. It goes something like this. Back in January, Dr. Hedlund told me of this honor, and thank you, by the way, for this honor. So what do I do? I write, and I write, and I write, and I write, and I'm done. There it is. February comes. Hmm. Hmm. March comes. Whoa. So April comes, and I'm diligent. I'm writing, I write two copies, one for virtual, the other for live, and I hold them, hold them, hold them. May comes. Every celebrity in the world is giving a commencement speech and I feel inadequate. This isn't good enough. So anyway, we're here guys, and let's just go for it. This is unconventional, so let's get unconventional. Today is a day filled with celebration and gratitude to the class of 2020, and how they know you in epic fashion, and I mean epic fashion, made this building a better place, simply by the example of working through adversity. On behalf of all who work here, please know that you have been our purpose for the past four years, and we've missed you more than you can imagine. <laughs> I'm two minutes in, I'm already going Kovac. Um, we'd like to thank you for the dedication and determination in finishing the year strong, and the support you've shown us through your patience as we've navigated new forms of technology in order to get the job done for you. We've also like to thank you, we'd also like to thank you for the compassion you've not only shown us, but shown your classmates as we mourn the loss of a great human being, our friend, colleague, and teacher, George Banke. I gotta admit, you guys, my graduation looked a lot different than this, as has every graduation ever since. Parents weren't really listening to me right now. They were up in the stands wondering if they ordered enough food for the grad party, would that driveway that just got sealed be dry in time for the guests? Would south of the river tents be there on time to set up? Side note, they'd be there on time. Fast forward to the class of 2020. Thanks for helping us all to recalibrate the things that really matter in this world. And those things that matter most, those things like health, both physical and mental, being together, and I mean truly being present with our family and friends, and maybe even having an occasional sit-down dinner. And as we, as a world, recover from this pandemic, and that's the only time I will use that word, as we recover from this, years from now, we're gonna reflect back on how we took this experience and came back stronger. And think of the stories you're gonna have to tell your grandkids. It'll bring a whole new meaning to the phrase, hindsight is 2020. Over the past few months, we've learned a lot about ourselves. We felt emotions of sadness, loneliness, uncertainty, and yes, fear. As far as my own high school graduation, well, six months after that graduation, that one emotion, fear, caused me to give up on my dream to become a teacher. I switched majors because I was afraid to take a public speaking class. So I cowardly gave up on my goal to speech. I am so sick of fear. But I've learned since that there's a difference between worry and fear. Fear can actually be quite useful. When I see a clear and present danger, fear is there to trigger my survival instincts of fight or flight. But worry, worry is a joke. Corey Ten Boom says it best. Worry does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It empties today of its strength. So here we go, final lessons. I get one last chance to teach. Thank you for that. If I could go back 39 years and talk to my 18-year-old self, I'd simply say, Fear not. Lesson number one, face your fears. I know, cliche, cliche. Facing fear opens doors to bigger opportunities. 
And in order to do that, we need to have courage. Brene Brown says, you can choose courage or you can choose comfort, but you cannot choose both. So class of 2020, you want to live a better life? It's simple. Take action. Are you listening? Take action. Action kills fear because action shuts out our self-doubt, but action takes courage. And as for myself finally becoming a teacher, I finally mustered up that courage at the age of 30, took that public speaking class and got another degree in education. I am so grateful. Face your fears, lesson one. Lesson two, stretch your comfort level. I've learned it's not the things I do in this world that I regret or keep me up at night. It's the things I leave undone. The things I lack the courage to do in the moment. Maybe not sticking up or stepping up for someone. Maybe not having that uncomfortable, honest phone conversation with a friend to tell them what they needed to hear. Instead, I took the easy way out and told them what they wanted to hear. We need to start getting more comfortable being uncomfortable. Will you fail sometimes? Heck yeah. But understand that failure is necessary to grow. And every time you step out of your comfort zone, you're going to learn something about yourself and you will grow. Lesson two, stretch your comfort level. And to that point, third and final lesson, here we go. You are in charge of your future. You chart your course. No excuses. Because nothing works in this world unless you do. And remember, you can't always control your circumstance but you can control your response to it. Think of the adversity you've worked through and overcome just this past spring. The losses, a live graduation, a live prom, although that virtual one was awesome. Spring break, spring sports, encore, speech nationals, school itself, and the list goes on and on. You can't control, you couldn't control the way your senior year ended, but you have controlled your response to it and you've responded admirably. If I've had you in class, you probably heard me say that great timber doesn't grow with ease. The stronger the breeze, the stronger the trees. You've had some strong breezes over the past four years, and I'm not just talking about the past couple months, and yet you've overcome. The past few months do not define you. The past 18 years full of accomplishments do. It's tough to find a leader or a role model in this world that hasn't faced strong breezes and much adversity. Role models are so important in this world. One of mine grew up in South Dakota, the youngest of six kids. She lost her da dad at the age of eight. Her mom worked several jobs, but they still relied on food stamps and government assistance to get by. She was uprooted in the middle of high school, moved out of state knowing nobody. She went on to college, paid every dime of her college by working several jobs and taking out a student loan. She graduated in four years, the first in her family with a four-year college degree. Today, this person holds two graduate level degrees, three coaching and professional training certificates. They've worked in education over 30 years serving children. I am so lucky because I had the opportunity to marry one of my role models, and I know Every husband, every dad out there is going, oh my gosh, what a suck up. He must be in the doghouse or what's going on. And it's all true, but I've suffered through this too. My wife's fairly pretty, and I've, I've heard everywhere I go, that's a mismatch. That guy must have all kicked his coverage. He doesn't belong in the same zip code as her. And on and on. But the best one came in class this year. My wife came in to speak, and after she left, a student came up to me and she said, Mr. Becker, I'm surprised. I didn't think your wife would be that pretty. Ouch. But her secret, her secret, she never let her current circumstance determine her future. She built a better life by how she responded to each and every hardship and circumstance throughout her life. Bonus lesson, find role models and surround yourself with people who will make you better. So graduates, you're not limited by your current circumstance because you have the power to create your future a new future, a better future. And I'm going to tell you right now, the world is ready. The world is eager for the next greatest generation, and I'm confident it can be yours. Nope. Great timber doesn't grow with ease. 
but it seems nothing strong, beautiful, and worthwhile ever does. So thanks for listening, and, but we've got a bonus for you today. We brought in Josh Cleveland. It's time to celebrate you. And so Josh, if you want to make your way up here, Josh came here. Um, Josh is from Youth Frontiers. He's a singer, songwriter, and my pa's seniors, if you could make your way up here also. Josh brought his daughter Harper here. She's got some serious rhythm. She's going to be a sophomore here at Egan High School. And for support, I brought in my four seniors from my pa's class. Josh is a singer, songwriter, musician. He's a manager at Youth Frontiers. He's an all-around superstar. He, um, he was on The Voice. He, uh, he made it all the way to the chair turns. Uh, what, ha what happened there? No one turned a chair, uh, but it was cool. It was fun, and Adam Levine is super tall and gives really good hugs, so that was a bonus. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Josh is here to perform his song uh, that he wrote called Fear Not, and I believe it offers us hope for a better tomorrow. Josh Cleveland. One, two, one, two. I wanna see your head held up high. I wanna see your heart broke open wide. I wanna see you when you doubt your steps. I wanna see you when you think nothing's left. Cause I to be your confidant. I will be your strength even when you're not And I will be your hope and stay I will be your anchor, just don't be afraid I want to see you when you start to slip I want to see you when you lose your grip I want to see you when you can't catch your breath I want to see you when you think nothing's left Cause I will be your confidant I will be your strength even when you're not high fives, the handshakes, the hugs of being together today. Never forget, you've been loved, and this place will always be a part of your home. So when the dust settles on our current situation, we hope you'll come back for that handshake or hug. But in the meantime, as you travel down the road and things get tough and sometimes you lose your way, fear not, because as they say, we will always leave a light on to help guide you back home. Great job, Josh. Great job. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for that wonderful message, and thank you to all of those who helped him with that message today. Each year, our wind ensemble 
and concert choir choose to perform together for this ceremony. This year, it was a little more difficult, but under the direction of Mr. Brett Benson and Mr. Jim Cox, and featuring our music seniors, they have chosen to perform Thankful. The lyrics to this song are printed on page four of your program.
Thank you, Mr. Cox and Mr. Benson, our wind ensemble and our concert choir, and especially our seniors for helping to create a memorable video performance. As their senior class speaker, Ms. Shayla Vlander represents the class of 2020. She auditioned and was selected for this privilege. Her speech is entitled, Mask Off. Shayla, the podium is yours. I am honored to be here today addressing the most phenomenal group of graduates, parents, teachers, and administrators I have ever known. Granted, this is my first high school graduation and I'm hoping that it's my last. So I'm not exactly sure how much that means, but truly, it is an honor to speak on behalf of the resilient class of 2020. Do you all remember when we were young? Like, really, really young. And yes, parents, you too. We'll wait while you think back that far. All right, well, do you remember plotting with your friends about what dress up mask you were going to wear that day? Maybe you wanted to feel beautiful and adored like a princess, or perhaps something more powerful, a superhero or a swashbuckling pirate. Or were you better as a part of a group like the Power Rangers or Mystery Gang? Well, there was a power in that choice, the meaning of the masks, and that choice is upon us once again as we graduate Egan High School. What is your mask? What is its purpose? Should we even be wearing one? And is it necessary? And while these questions have surely taken on new meanings in these unprecedented times, I am not talking about protecting us from a virus or talking about the virus at all. I'm talking about you, your future, your choices, and your mask. And yes, Following CDC guidelines and masking up in our local grocery store protects us as well as the compromised. But it is not so different from the mask we have subconsciously worn our entire lives to cover up who we really are out of fear of judgment, scrutiny, or the desire to appear as somebody we are not. Let's take a look at myself, for example. My first experience of being somebody began with dressing up as a princess and twirling around my dining room as somebody I wanted to be. Looking back, the life of plastic heels was not exactly environmentally friendly. However, my choice to play princess has not left as I have grown. Now, I find myself hiding behind a mask of makeup, cucumber facials, and yes, I totally understood the math homework. And for all of those adults tuned in today, I would guess that you haven't outgrown your mask either. Makeup, Beards, big words, and best mom ever t-shirts, trying to embody the kind of guardian you are supposed to be. Newsflash, it doesn't take a t-shirt to be the best mom ever. It takes being my mom. So nobody else stood a chance anyways. We find ourselves behind these masks out of fear of the unknown, failing to realize we are all nervous of what is to come. How many adults watching this have ever felt like they are just pretending to know what in the world is going on? That's what I thought. We are never certain. And that right there is the backbone of humanity. The feeling of uncertainty the class of 2020 felt walking out these doors on March 13th will reside with this class forever. Not knowing it was our last death-defying walk to the loser lot, last time in this gym, where the class of 2020 never won a single pep fest game. Not one. And our last time hearing, I am out of here over the morning announcements and a frightening absence of closure. Feeling like we don't know forces us to retreat behind masks that hide our true insecurities and fears. Pretending the end to our high school career wasn't devastating. The same way pretending you weren't cold to prove a point to your mother that in middle school, neon yellow Nike shorts were super cool in the winter. <laughs> However, I have a suggestion for the class of 2020. What if we try life without our masks? And as terrifying as it may be, I'm asking you to embrace your vulnerability. But don't get it twisted. 
A vulnerable class of 2020 is not a weak class, but a stronger one. A class with the strength to be our truest and most unapologetic selves, the strength to prosper through a worldwide pandemic, and the strength to become more than missed memories. What will be the face you project when you leave this wildcat world? Well, since nobody is up here with me to answer, I'll tell you. We will be a class with the means to unmask our fears as we have learned to do in these past few months. We have the opportunity to portray a whole new kind of graduate. Those who understand that their actions matter in a world of seven billion. Those with the confidence to emerge as independent beings comfortable with vulnerability and change. And those daring enough to ask the question every parent, teacher, and administrator has once asked. How do I adult? I am asking us to walk out of Egan High School not masking the nerves we all have, but embracing them as our first companion outside of these doors. Do this, and we will emerge more creative, more understanding, and more in touch than ever before. So, who will you choose to be? Maybe a princess, pirate, perhaps the perfect parent. Will you hide behind the masses or embrace your creativity and passion? Will you portray who you wish to be, or become who you wish to be. So be funny, be creative, be confident, be explorative, but above all, be unsure. And while they say, hats off to the class of 2020, I instead chose a quote by the lyrical genius Future when I say, mask off. Thank you. Thank you, Shayla. That was a wonderful message. Thanks for sharing it with our class. Although we are distant from one another, please allow me to present the class of 2020 to our parents, guardians, family, school district, and special guests. These young adults have distinguished themselves by outstanding performance, by their caring attitudes towards each other and their community, and by their unwavering willingness to rise to many challenges. We respect them, and we certainly miss being with them. We celebrate their success and look forward to their next steps. They have earned the right to be recognized at our ceremony today. Accordingly, on behalf of the faculty of Egan High School, many of whom celebrated with our graduates earlier this afternoon in the vehicle processional, I hereby certify to the school board that these seniors have successfully completed the requirements for graduation from District 196. I recommend they be granted diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Egan High School Class of 2020. Thank you to our technicians and video experts for helping us put this slideshow presentation together today. Megan Naldosa Abagat, Aban Abbas, Jocelyn Kelly Abbott, Ilan Achman Abdi, Ismail Abdushukri Abdullahi, Adarsh Akula, Joshua Michael Wu Alexander, Abdullahi Ali, William Frederick Altier, Isabel Genevieve Altier, Adithian Velmurgan Ambulam, Julia Kelly Muling Amaranjan, Brady Thomas Amundsen, Rachel Annika Anderson, Luke Gustav Anderson, Jillian Louise Anderson, Kevin Joseph Anderson, Catherine McCarthy Anderson, Timothy Joel Anderson, Lindsay Caroline Arndt, Anthony James Asta, Nikolai John Ayeni, 
Wyatt Andrew Bailiff, Mackay Nathaniel Baker, Dhruv Balasubramanian, Julia Ann Barger, Catherine Riley Barker, Adam Thomas Bartle, Benjamin Waman Beanie, Olivia Jean Bennis, Lily Sophia Benson, Callista Marie Benton, Jenna Rosamond Benz, Ryan Timothy Berg, Kyle Robert Berg, Madeline Joy Berg, Jacob Lawrence Barron, Cursa Carol Berry, Evan Clayton Blum, Olivia Andrea Bonshire, Ayana Malaya Booth, Faith Alexandra Borgerding, Grace Divine Lotier Petuli, Annika Lynn Bowen, Sarah Vadia Briginski, Jonathan Timothy Braun, Angel Marie Bray, Elise Riley Breckman, Lillian Kathleen Briody, Melissa Lurel Brotsman, Wyatt Milton Bucky, Jaden Christian Burgess, Ethan Robert Burgoyne, Jack Ryan Bright, Piper Catherine Butler, Aiden Gregory Byrne, Philip Leonardo Caputo, Isaiah Riley Carlson, Jack Owen Carlson, Rachel Lee Carpenter, Jordan Michael Carr, Bram Carrillo Gomez, Blake Matthew Carter, Luke Andrew Casanova, Andrew Allen Casper, Dora Isabel Castillo Pivic, Jonathan Monroe Chambers, Ivy Ta Chow, Brittany Rose Che, Andrew James Christie, Ryan John Colbert, Nina Simone Colbrook, Sydney Ann Coleman, Christopher Javian Collier, Erica Louise Collins, Luke Patrick Conway, Samuel Kenneth Cook, Carson Joseph Miller Cooper, Benjamin Joseph Cooper, Beatrice Mota Cordero, Bailey Lynn Cortman, George Simon Cordy, Carson David Corum, Jimmy Nam Kung, Grace Nicole Dolan, Elijah Roski Dolliger, Evan Michael Danich, Kayla Marie Daniel, Christian Anthony Danko, Carson Joseph Dahl, Grace Ann Davidson, Samuel Lee Davis, Markel Alan Day, Bonnie Melanie Decatoire, Christine Joan DeMarcus, Kiera Jade Dent, Brock Thomas Deerfelt, 
Madeline Elizabeth Dieterle. Luke Jonathan Dietman. William J. Diffley. Brian Thomas Dilla. Lynn Thuy Doan. Paige Elizabeth Donkers. Maria Renee Duffy. Olivia K. Dykes. Caitlin Elizabeth Edwards. Reese Richard Eisenbart. Carson Allen Eckland. Andrew Edward Ellingson. Gavin Nathaniel Erdman. Ashley Rose Erickson. Jonah Patrick Evans. Morgan Edward Evans. Grace Elizabeth Faltasek. Logan Matthew Firkenhoff. Amanda K. Ferlita. Alexander Richard Fay. Hannah Grace Figura. Michael Maurice Fillmore. Daniel Thomas Finnegan. Mara Ronit Fink. Jack John Falstead. John Patrick Flanagan. Christian John Foreman. Margaret Ann Force. Melanie Ray Foster. Alicia Nicole Franson. Grace Adeline Fredericks. Maria Grace Fromey. Gabrielle Ann Furley. Ty Frederick Gage. Lauren Olivia Gammy. Michelle Diane Ganapolsky. Hector Garcia Luna. Alam Nur Goss. Diliet Gabrib. Aaron Maria Galing. Cole Jacob Gibson. Dylan Francis Gifford. Jaden Arthur Gilbertson. Summer Sage Gilman. Connor Matthew Glazer. Marissa Rose Goffman. Cullen Henry Granis. Taylor Sue Graben. Sienna Rose Grounds. Leanne Elizabeth Gruber. David Grovera Rea. Ethan Biggerstaff Gugino. Alyssa Ann Gulsvig. Gabrielle Medora Lynn Gustafson. Ava Marie Jolai. Isabella Jean Haas. Eva Josephine Haberstro. Isabel Jo Hackenmuller. Andrea Marie Sisson Hagape. Elidana T. Hailu. Isaiah Dominic Michael Hall. Nathan William Hammernick. Derek Leo Hansen. Jordan K. Harms. Madeline Claudia Harris. Kainat Hassan. Sumaya Muhammad Hassan. Gareth Scott Haswell. Elise Laura Heckman. Jackson Lewis Hedegaard. Kyla Marie Hare. Katrin Grace Heine. John Robert Henning. Linda Lim Herbrand. Jessica Lynn Herbrand. 
Wilhelm Conrad Herman, Samantha Sochi Hernandez, Emilio Herrera Leon, McKenna Jolene Herzog, Kaya Marika Jo Hilgendorf Roost, Hallie Ann Hill, Sarah Marie Holst, Paige Marie Holtz, Anastasia Holubniak, Jackson Hayes Hoover, Jacob Donald Hoppy, Cam J. House, Trevor Beck Howard, William Vincent Howe, Katie Isabel Huseman, Dylan Chan Win Win, Todd Alex Win, Garrett Hudson Iwerks, Samuel Kalur Jacob, Shireen Fatima Joffrey, Eden Samuel Jallo, Victoria Grace James, Samuel Charles Jenkins, Ali Pearl Jensen, Olivia Therese Johnson, Kristen K. Johnson, Tessa Christina Lorene Jones, Braden Michael Jones, Aya Marin Jordy, Eric Michael Josephson, Michael Josue Juarez, Christine Ann Jurgens, Adam Thomas Call, Darby Colleen Keach, Dante Juan Keel Jr., Claire Tishy Kehoe, Seamus Patrick Kehoe, Chad Raymond Keller, Leah Ray Kelgren, Moab Albert Kella, Noah Justin Kipp, Liam Connor Kirby, Amy S. Kirchman, Nathaniel Benjamin Klausner, Lindsay Elizabeth Klingberg, Caitlin Elizabeth Knutson, Annika Grace Coonan, Connor Ronald Coker, Kevin Wynn Kong, Anne Elizabeth Kozlowski, Neil Matthew Kotzenmacher, Elliot Thomas Kramer, Sanjana Krishnamurthy, Nicholas John Kritzis, Nolan Thomas Crouch, Scott Henry Kruger, Brock Andrew Kaberic, Nina Grace Kakolka, Jonathan Daniel Kunst, Kyle Dennis Kuzi, Logan Wallace Lambert, Taylor Kim Lander, Joseph Thomas Landucci, Sebastian Leon Langway, Jacob Thomas Larson, Mackenzie L. Larson, Carl William Larson, Aaron Dillon Laster, Cora Arlene Lavelli, Nicholas Peter Lawrence, Ryan Andrew Lawrence, Madeline Jean Lee, Leah Ann Lemieux, Samuel Paul LeBear, Reese Michael Lichtenberg, 
Claire Quangping Lindemann, Evan Richard Loberg, Kent James Luazo Purcell, Kai David Luazo Purcell, Diego Alejandro Lopez Ibarra, Leslie Sinai Lopez, Nathan Andrew Lopresto, Theodore James Lundin, Timothy Joseph Line, Claire Olivia Madden, Kaylin Alyssa Madison, Mimu Zorbin Ma, Molly Jean Malloy, Derek James Manzella, Sebastian Robert Marciano, Carly Elizabeth Marsh, Caitlin Rose Martin, Giselle Marie Martinez Isaya, Truman Q. Marty, Nicholas Alexander Marudis, Juan Pierre Matthews, Ashley Marie McCann, Catherine Ann McCoy, Sydney Marilyn McGinn, Miles James McGuire, Savannah Lane McKinnon, Catherine Colette McMahon, Emily Catherine McMonagall, Dustin Joshua McNally, Ana Paula Medina Lima, Maxwell Timothy Meekin, Johnston Curtis Myers, Macy Yame Mylan Kynard, Thomas Matthew Meisinger Jr., Joseph Quinn Melchior, Carlos Eduardo Melgar, Natalie Shunjo Merrill, Zachary Matthew Merwin, Fuchsia Jerilanda Middleton, Lauren Victoria Miller, Catherine Grace Miller, Deco B. Mire, Laura Elizabeth Mitchell, Owen Nels Mitchell, Megan Gretchen Mullen, Najib Abdullahi Mohammed, Samira Hussein Mohammed, Amira Abukar Mohammed, Annabelle Lorraine Molina, Tyler Jacob Monville, Adrian Daniel Morales, Vincent Lee Morgan, Claudia Isabel Moses, Cassandra Jean Mox, Joshua Neil Mox, Nicholas David Moxley, Antonia Baylin Moya Belaustehi, Michael Patrick Murphy, Sarah Nazari, Broden Spencer Ness, Sydney Noel New, Marie Kim Wynn, Angela Nieto Galicia, Emily Margaret Nobles, Evan Michael Oakman, Christopher James O'Brien, Isaac Andrew Oland, Kurt Dean Olhues, Summer Roselyn Olheiser, Olivia Grace Olson, Julian David Olson, Finn Thomas O'Malley, Megan Jean O'Shea, Jonina Anna Oscar's daughter, Robert Jackson Otto, 
Charles Co. Otu. Tanu Sai Padma. Jesse Jordan Paul. Shelja Tamir Ponchal. Audrey Elizabeth Parker. Jackson Thomas Parrish. Ruby Tejal Elizabeth Patel. Alexander John Palman. Devin Marie Pavic. Tatiana Elise Pereira. Caitlin Jill Pernsteiner. Riley J. Peterson. Logan Joel Falsgraf. Alexis Thukni Fong. Jordan Lee Piper. Madeline Marilyn Pladson. Jonathan Joseph Claff. Juan Portillo. Tori Jade Pressler. Jasmine Mika Yasis Punzal. Stefan Aracic. Chloe Elizabeth Ray. Caden Gerard Rainford. Nicholas James Romeli. Tegan Michelle Rumbold. Andrea Marguerite Rarick. James William Allen Rossler. Helena M. Reda. Aaron Grace Redekop. Caroline Grace Redding. Kellen Marie Redland. Hallie Ann Reeves. Alexander Tabernia Refuerzo. Henry Moen Edward Wahi Reef. Carly Joe Renner. Clarice Sammy Andreas Rue. Joanne Beverly Rhodes. John Timothy Riley. Emily Jane Ritter. Kenneth Alessandro Rodas. Mark Antonio Rodriguez. Jacob B. Rogers. Jason Alexander Rojas. Joseph Anthony Raleigh. Joseph William Rulin. Jenna Marie Reese. Antonio Adonai Ruiz. Jet David Rocco. Jalen Isaiah Russell. Kylie Alana Ruth Twardy. Jack Isaac Ryan. Mackenzie Ray Seeger. Matthew Giovanni Salamoni. Jaden Omri Sangster. Lydia Catherine Sauter. Abigail Grace Scallon. Anne Marie Shalanka. Emily Ray Schmidt. Anna Christine Schnuckel. Ryan Wesley Schoveler. Jenna Elaine Schreiber. Jerome Richard Schreiber. Benjamin Andrew Schreiner. Zachary David Schulte. Damian Michael Schultz. Mia Cameron Scott. Omar Sevilla Ramirez. Ronnie Hiran Shah. Sushma Shankar. Serena Lauren Charbo. Dennis Shimko. Gabrielle Marie Schulfer. Ahmad Ahmed Siddiqui. Ruby Seeger. Benjamin Arthur Silverglate. 
Bhagdi Sin Malcolm Girding Smart Isaiah Matthew Snell Caleb Solomon Leah Rose Sukup Alma Margaret Spence Ella Grace Steen Caitlin Renee Stefanik Sophie Elizabeth Stein Noah Scott Stasekel Mallory Elizabeth Stiff Ren Stokesbury Jack Thomas Stone Evan John Storkamp Natalie Oaks Young Stout Sasha Marie Stowell Peter Edward Stutler Ava Miranda Sullivan Gemma Catherine Sunberg Isaac Jacob Swenson Guinevere Evelyn Swartz Sahita Takela Evan Mark James Taylor Joran Gregory Teganford Alexandra Rose Teagan Astrid Tufak Jamesi Sarah Kate Thyssen Hannah Sarah Thomas Jacob Matthew Thompson John James Thompson Ava Marie Thrall Diego Keon Toledo Haley Danielle Tolve Amy Catherine Trombley Daniel James Cheetah Ethan Robert Teo Dawson Jean Olvers Joseph Donovan Urich Emmanuel Valdovinos Robert Choi Velusic Juan Latrell Vance Jane Mari Vasterling Kaylin Rose Vavrovsky Shayla Louise Vlander Emma Marie Veldheis Matthew David Verbeck Chi Na Quinn Bo Carly Marie Vries Ying Vu Anna Grace Wagner David John Wagner Dawn Olivia Wagner Caitlin Grace Wachowski Pin Yu Wong Noah Christopher Ward Zachary Todd Warner Lily Margaret Weber Carter Andrew Weber Preston Raymond Werman Noah Christopher Waite Zoe Weisendanger Elizabeth Wells Westgard Aiden James White Benjamin Graham Whitehead Benjamin M. Willery Brianna Marie Wilkins Lucas Alexander Williams Jaden Amaris Williams Nolan Keith Williams Benjamin Scott Wilmus Jacob Tong Wilson Michaela May Wingy Andrew Christopher Wittenberg Alex Wodars Elijah Wesley Wolf 
Jake William Wolf Matthews, Zachary Mason Wallach, Catherine Jolene Wong, Adele Marie Woog, Ethan James Warner, Elizabeth Ann Reitman, Brianna Diane Wirtz, Suzanne Miranda Wirtz, David William Wiley, Kaoxing Jiang, Xinyao Shu, Ron Johannes, Yuquin Larry Zhao. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Celebrate at home with your own hat toss. Thank you.